It's about time. Yeah, I guess it's about time. <laughs> Ta -da! I'll be there whenever she says that. <laughs> I have to watch out for all the time because she tries to trip me a lot. Um, Into giving me hugs. <laughs> Aww, I know, she's real so cuddly. <laughs> she's real snuggly. She's real I can there. turn around. But um, yeah, no. she's. Uh... <laughs> With the latest addition to the MCU lineup, Thunderbolts, we have finally got what appears to be a teaser trailer, but fans are more so calling it a full on trailer. As we can see, Florence Pugh makes her way back into the MCU as her character, Yelena Belova, starring alongside Harrison Ford and Sebastian Stan. I love Alex and he's a really good mate of mine and we had a great time. And I think, you know, we just had such a wonderful long period of time where we got to just buddy up and, and be that couple on screen and then just be such good mates off. It was a really wonderful time and he's so amazing and so supportive and so, um, so clever. And that's really nice. Aside from this new Marvel film and the expectations, today we wanted to share more of Florence and her giddy personality around others. I knew so much about her already, even if it wasn't completely on the page, I knew who she was. Right. I just cut like seven corners basically. Like I, I, I had that dialogue with the director already. He knew exactly who he was writing for. He was writing dialogue for me in my voice and then I just needed to breathe life in. But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question, what was Florence Pugh's first film role? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around till the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I always gave you an electric shock. That's because the connection is so powerful. It's so powerful. The connection is so powerful. It really is. I said it again, just for you. How are you, you doing? You look amazing. Oh, wait, shit. Who's that? <laughs> oh, <my God! laughs> okay. Oh, I love okay. her. I'll let her, I'll, 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 I, if I, I can't be too much of a stalker. <gasps> the teaser sees Yelena visiting Alexei, who is a father figure to her and Natasha Romanoff, played by Scarlett Johansson at home in his rundown apartment where she asks if he is fulfilled. And I was just sat there staring and I watched the entire credits roll. And then I just sat there and I didn't realize that he'd been standing there watching me. <laughs> and then finally when it ended, we were I was sat in the dark and he was like, so what did you think? <laughs> and I was just, just like, melted into this. I didn't know what to th I was just transfixed. Yeah. Pew teased that this film allowed them to dive deeper into Yelena and Alexei's complicated family dynamic after the events of their MCU debut in Black Widow. Got the next Calvin Klein fan, right? <laughs> Is that your new right? one? This <laughs> yeah, fade. Do you there, think there that was, your character's there, really hot? <laughs> is essentially no, what. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't quite there. Their heads, but yeah. it. It at least I didn't have any like holes in it or anything. Like wow, that would have been quite a discovery. Never seen before. Never that was back. <laughs> David and I, in the first movie, as much as we possibly could, squeezed as much as we could out of the time that we had together. Pew said Pretty they good. put us together, and then and you then are doing. We are doing a movie together. Don't worry, that's not a lie. We are doing. Movie together. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, I, I met him the day before in rehearsals, and we instantly got along. And I was taking the piss out of him, and he loved it, and he yeah. was taking the piss out of me, and I loved it. It was great. Knowing that we were both coming back to do any version of a second movie, there was no way that we couldn't jump into it further and go where these people are in the state of their lives right now. I think that's probably a better question for you because you were in the first one. But you were in the first one. We just don't know. Which yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to steal this you one. You steal it because it truly, she, I think she actually can ends, do it. You, I know we've seen can, it. But she actually ends the first movie she did. and then like begins the second. Pew and Harbour are thrilled that they got to evolve their on screen relationship even further in Thunderbolts. The fact that we'd been there before and done it before, the stakes just got so much higher, Pew said. It was revealed here in Hall H today that your Oppenheimer co star, Robert Downey Jr., is coming back in the MCU. I'm literally just here. It's insane. I hope I get to do a few scenes with him because I didn't get to do scenes with him in Oppenheimer. I'd say Shaheen Baig has been a mentor to me for, for a long, long time. Um, and even though I, our paths don't cross as much anymore, she's, I mean, at the beginning of my career, I was sending her everything like, do I go do this? What do we do? By the teasers and audiences also get a new glimpse of Julia Louise Dreyfus as Valentina, 
who is introduced in Disney Plus's 2021 series, The Falcon and Winter Soldier. Her character appears to be bringing this new team together. I was a little intimidated, really, because you were, you were very grounded and in yourself and there to do the work and everything. And I was like, oh. everybody was like, OK, you ready to go over and meet Scala? And I was like, yes, oh, no. There is so much uh, pressure and what am I going to say? And then we ended up tickling each other in a trust exercise and yeah, it was all good. Aside from her love of all of her co-stars, she particularly pointed out that she loved the sound of Tom Hanks' voice at one point. I particularly love the sound of Tom Hanks' voice. Oh my, she, really? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, this? Yeah, that. <laughs> hey, that's great! So she'd quickly get up from her bed and rewind it and press play again. Aww. So I'm, I've been very soothed well, you know what? sleep. You got a friend Aww. in me. You got a friend in me. Oh, there you go. There was a time that Florence was a good friend and helped shield Emily Blunt when her top popped open unexpectedly. I got to work with the most unbelievable actor that I I feel so honored to be in his presence and 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 shout lines back to him. So the 28-year-old British actress opened up about the decision to cut her hair for her upcoming film We Live in Time. In the romantic drama which stars Andrew Garfield, Pew plays Helmut, a chef who is diagnosed with stage 3 ovarian cancer. <laughs> I have them saved, like some of my favorite ones I have they saved. They are good, they are Actually, good. I'm not going to open no, my no, photos no, no. right now. <laughs> What's on your phone? Just lots of <laughs> my own. Cut this out. But... I, that's all. I didn't know that's you could do fun. press like this. <laughs> I didn't know that you could say something outrageous, then be like, cut. Yeah. It was really bizarre, the actress told the outlet. My head was so sensitive and so many people were trying to touch it and it was so live. Oh, we went yeah, yeah. full ex, um, exorcist, exorcist. You did. Swedish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exorcist, what do you want? I like it when you say it like that. Exorcist? Exorcist. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exorcist. Exorcist. Yeah. Exorcist. But say it how you said it. Exorcist. I like that. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds exotic. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Christopher Walken, I just want to hear him talk. You just daddied him, by the way. I just called him daddy. You just called Christopher Walken daddy. <laughs> That's just leave that there, shall we? He is my daddy in the movie. Yeah. yeah it's fair. You can. Fair point. It's fair you can. point. The director, John Crowley, Eva revealed that he was stunned if you shaved her head for the role. Well, I think uh, obviously everybody is going to be asking that question, but a total professional, and um, it was it was a it was a it was a great experience working together. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I genuinely hadn't seen it. It was quite. But from a marketing perspective, I guess it's kind of genius. Oh, it's going to be a collector's item. About, you know? It will be. <laughs> Everybody's so weird talking You're about. like, okay, I got to have one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put my plants in it. Yeah. <laughs> of all the projects we have seen her in, she never doesn't amaze her fans with her performances. Florence Pugh couldn't believe her eyes when she spotted Ariana Grande on the Oscars 2024 red carpet, and her reaction was absolutely adorable. Oh, wait, <laughs> shit, who's that? Okay. Oh, I love okay. I'll, uh, I... Even though we have got to see the teaser trailer so far, given that the Thunderbolts still is in the post-production stage right now, there's no telling what her next role is or if her Marvel character could make another return. Florence is such a talented actor and she's the real deal. Yeah. She's a, she's an amazing scene partner and she's, you know, she, she just has a fresh take on everything and is, is just there meets you right there. It's awesome. I, I, I love working with her. The energy. I already I dig the energy between Well, we haven't seen fun. each other in a week, so Aww. we're just like, a lot of love. Yeah. I miss this one. She did, however, mention an upcoming project, We Live in Time, mentioning her co-star Andrew Garfield. Especially when you're younger, I suppose, I'm eager to please or get the job done. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. But it was really cool to see this woman just pause a set for a second and, and, and fix an issue and not worry about how many people were saying, come on, come on, we may as well just shoot it. It was like Scarlett was taking control. So yeah, that was a wonderful, a wonderful thing to learn and watch. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, her first film role was in The Falling as Abby Mortimer in 2014. <laughs> what am I gonna do now? That's cool. very cool. Love it. Okay, ready? Yes. Cute. <laughs> <Cute. laughs> But we want
wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all this and where her character will go next in the MCU? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Yeah, no, it was definitely something we were trying to understand because you can't be like, what's up, shawty? Right. <laughs> like, you know, you can't. That's not how they how they do things. So. Lawrence is like, damn, why didn't you do that? <laughs> I would love to see that, though. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah.